So, good day guys. This is Ken Vincent Amigonia and we will tackle about globalization and religion. But first, let me tell you something that this is for educational use only. Our group is allowing our instructor, Mr. Roldan Ardenas, to use this as an educational materials. So, f next is, I will tell you about the objective. So, first, the objective is know the impact of globalization in religion. Two is know religion as globalizer. Three is learn the positive and negative effects of religion in globalization. And four, the last one is understand the role of religion in globalization. So the impacts of globalization in religion is globalization allows four religions previously isolated from one another to now have regular and avoid avoidable contact. As a result, globalization brings to the f to the light the fact that since religions have similar values, not one of them is correct and therefore can be changed. For example, if you are a Muslim and yet you are in love with Catholic, therefore your practices and beliefs as a Muslim will be changed because you are marrying a Catholic. So religion has tremendously benefited from technological advances, for example, website providers and permissions and explanations about different religions to, to any persons regardless of this or her geographical location as well as a provide an opportunity to contact others worldwide and hold the debates which allow religious ideas to spread televisions, allows more religious channels that provide visual religious teachings into every home and monitor in global setting religions. For example, uh, the Pastor Kiboloi's, Pastor Kiboloi's TV show. So it brings there that about Bible and the SMNI. Example of that is the SMNI television. So it comes together into one settings. Globalization brings a culture of pluralism meaning regions with overlapping but disinfective ethics and interests interact with one another essentially the world leading religious traditions hinduism buddhism judaism christianity and islam teaches values such as humanity human dignity equality freedom peace and solidarity more specifically religious maintain a golden rule what you do not wish done to yourself do not do to others. Therefore, through such religious values, globalizations endangers greater religious tolerance in such areas in politics, economics, and society. Good day, everyone. I am Cadet Matthew Aigalolo. Now, I'm going to discuss the negative impact of globalization to religion. Globalization creates backlash to religious spiritualism. First, Globalization breaks down traditional communities and replaces them with larger impersonal organizations. As globalization creates a global village, it dramatically alters what individuals traditionally understood themselves by citizenship, nationality, and immigration. For instance, the European Union does not call their members by country of origin but rather by their greater title, European citizens. Moreover, such organizations set universal standards upon all members, causing individuals to believe that they are not fairly represented. As a result, feeling these organizations have shattered their protective cocoon that has sheltered them in the past, many individuals find comfort in religion. Lastly, globalization. Globalization causes mental stress. Although globalization allows for cross-dressing borders, it also leaves individuals worrying about losing work, status, or other privileges. Moreover, since globalization favors material prosperity as the aim of life over the inner peace, individuals focus on attaining some materials positions such as a house, car, 
game, or simply any object. When they attend such items, however, they find themselves empty inside and therefore realize that inner peace can never be achieved from material possessions. To these individuals, religion provides them the way to inner peace and a sense of personal fulfillment. For example, individuals who feel insecure in the globalized world, in business or personal life, will often pray to God for his spiritual support. In addition, these individuals realize that getting involved within their communities and organize, organizing together in social movements for a good cause brings more satisfaction to them than than to material possessions. They see themselves as being part of something important and worthwhile. So in short, in this world that we live in right now, under the influence of consumer culture, nowadays achievement and material prosperity has become the aim of life, while the inner peace is ignored. So globalization causes mental stress. Why? Because as it favors material prosperity, sometimes us individuals focus on attaining some material possessions, such as houses, cars, wealth, or simply any object that hampered the inner peace by undermining the religious idea and perspectives. So this is the main reason why it makes people irreligious. In face of, so in face of rapid changes in the globalized world, to regain the sense of certainty, many individuals turn to religion for a clear explanation of what is going on in this world. With its strength as a powerful identity that brings the message of unity and security times of crisis, religion provides the idea of home. But as the last sections, as the last section demonstrates, this religious identity becomes a major ingredient that reduces the self and the other to a number of cultural religious characteristics. Good day everyone, I am Santa Iglesia Ray Vincent and I will be talking about the different religions and positive impacts to globalization. So first is Hinduism. Hinduism is a diverse religious cult cultural phenomenon which contains several key teachings of value for the modern world. These include a living belief in the sacredness of the earth, fundamental belief in the inter interconnectedness of all life, commitment to dharma, a moral duty for service to the earth and humanity, belief in karma, the law of consequences, and deep commitment to simple lifestyles and the greater benefit of spiritual than material wealth. Of course, Hinduism also faces many challenges caused by the globalized values of materialism, consumerism, and individualism, and by the legacies of 700 years of Indian subjugation. Hinduism is also dependent from, the, from many of globalization's adverse effects for its open-minded theology and expansion of for absorption and reinterpretation. Globalization has led to a Hindu reality where there is conflict between the desire to identify with a common global culture and the desire to retain individual, regional, and communal identities, which manifests itself in moderate or fundamentalist forms. This is, this is in contrast with many prominent social theorists who have been predicting a decline of organized re religion and nationalistic feelings due to globalization. They theorized that globalization would go hand in hand with liberal democracy, pluralism, tolerance, and secularism, and lastly, international peace. Next is Islam. Based on the Islamic perspective, globalization provides more, cho more choices to people in living life to both business and state. Many people can tame the option to man the best decision based on the criteria of choice to achieve satisfaction optimal profit and welfare. Globalization can be defined as a process of aggregating global connectivity and cooperation interde interdependence in the cultural, political, religious, social, economic, technological, and all other intellectual spheres beyond the geographical boundaries across countries and territories. Hence, globalization always brings out changes and links connectivity among different parts in the world. The basic changes are visible in the physical transportation with various communicational means 
coupled with numerous dimensions of, in of information and technology. It is the rapid development in the trend of information technology, communication, transport, and infrastructural development by which the world's remotest parts are now easily reachable, no matter how distant they are. Third is Buddhism. Modern Buddhism has become an intrinsic part of a globalized world. With its philosophy of the way of life, it takes special place in human and cultural identity. Buddhism in modern times has already incorporated either other genuine Asian traditions or Western traditions and merged with the social cultural backgrounds of many countries across the world. Buddhism stresses the principle of interdependence, which is also the foundation of globalization in economic interest. Globalization encompasses transnational process of interchanging values, services, and products typically related to the modern capitalist world. However, globalization has also been understood as a framework constituting cultural and religious dynamics and centripetal forces involving cultural ideas, practices, and institutions in an open and interacting world. A broader spatial and temporal perspective on globalization situates in a broader historical context but typically linking it into an affinity with postmodernity and with a historical focus on the time since the breakdown of the communist world. Next is Judaism. The process of globalization, globalization increased the ways in which Jewish networks, families, and institutions influence each other. The relative isolation of countries and, and of groups within the countries no longer characterizes Jewish communities in the 21st centuries. Jews, their communities, and their Juda Judaism have all undergone major transformations in the decades since the end of World War II. The, the migration and settlement of Jews in dozens of countries around the world have made them the quintessential ethnic and religious minority characterized by the globalization. Their population dis dispersal among many countries, the development of local institutions, and their cultural and social assimilation are legacies of the past, but have been radically reshaped beginning in the 19th and continuing 20th to 21st centuries. And last is Christianity. Globalization has found a profound impact on Christianity. It has a tendency to foster secularization among peoples and cultures that are not secular and do not want to be secular. Man was originally intended to rule over the earth and take dominion of it, which has been gradually doing since creation. Globalization and Christianity are two separatable instruments that aim at bringing the whole of the human race as a single family. Each helps the other in achieving its distinctive goals and at the same time each contradicts the other. Each has, it, each has its unique challenges. All this not with, notwithstanding, both has the possibility of surviving the future, and above all, when Christianity and globalization accepts each other, it modifies and approaches and strategizes, then it will become the best institution ever in the society. Good day everyone, I am Deca de Trosinas, and I am here to tackle about religion as globalizer so when we say religion it is a belief in and worship of superhuman controlling power especially a personal god or gods it is also ideas about relationship between science and religion so when we say globalizer to make global or worldwide in scope or application. So, religion in globalized age transfers and transformations, integration and resistance or rega. It is a research program of the University of Oslo. This Norwegian Research Council finances the program as part of a broad strategy to straighten studies on globalization within all the humanities and social sciences. So, religion as globalizer, it is it shapes cultural makeup of the globe and create a homogenized global culture. In addition, 
there has been an increased interest in religion and religious conditions in research on the worldwide process of change. The one increasingly intertwined world economy creates greater social differences and even uh, social polarization. For example, in this program, we will examine how Christian faith, the worldviews, are reinterpreted in the face of globalization. The focus of this analysis will be Christi Christianity's potential for mobilization against and mobilization against and resistance to globalization and its capacity as a resource for integration into these global processes. So that's all. Thank you. Good day, I'm the Cadet Angelo V. Aloboso. My topic is an example of globalization to religions like Christians, Buddhists, Muslims, and Jews. A great many religions commentators understand the globalization as a once a large economic, imperialistic, and homogenizing process. These examples Christians, Buddhists, Muslims, and Jews and those speaking from indigenous traditions all arrive at similar critical assessment of globalization. For example, since the 9-11's attack, there has been a tendency of the West to link the religion of Islam with territorial practices while Al-Qaeda links the U.S. as a Christian or a Hudu Christian nation. On the one hand, Al-Qaeda men who hijacked the planes on 9-11 saw the passengers and those working in the, in the World Trade Centers and Pentagon as of Islam. On the other hand, the US-led inventions of Afghanistan and then Iraq turned into wars of Islamophagism and a crusade to the divine in getting rid of evil. Moreover, other attacks of innocent people based on cultural religious characteristics occur today. Muslim in the United States, Western Europe or India, courts in Iraq and Jews in France. In other words, truth socially is constructed this cultural religious characteristic become an unpaying force against others not adhering to a particular truth. Hey everyone, I'm Cadet Win Roji Perubis and I'm going to talk about the good and bad inheritance of religion in globalization. Though religion is strengthened and fortified by globalization, it, it represents a challenge to its globalization's hybridizing effects. Religion seeks to assert its identity in the light of globalization. As a result, different religious identities come to the fore and assert themselves. From religious or theological perspectives, globalization calls for religious response and interpretation. Yet, religion and, relig religion and religions have also played important roles in bringing about and characterizing globalization. Among the consequences of this implication for religion have been that globalization encourages religious pluralism. So here, is, here are some good and bad inheritance of religion. Religious people are less concerned with wealth and all, the, all that comes along with it. Strict with dress code, especially the Muslim. Food they eat and even to the manner which they talk. Bad karma. The effects of bad karma can be included hell, hell world agony of incarnation as an animal. Buddhists strive to develop good karma and avert negative karma. The goal of Buddhism, however, is to completely escape the cycle of reincarnation, not just to accrue a good karma and so be born into a more happy condition. Religious terrorism. Religious terrorism often takes the form of 
unbridled ecological and indiscriminate acts of violence, leaving few, if any, choices for counter-terrorism policies. Religious are foundation of modern republic. It gives them access to pulse. It offers them both financial and psychological support. It gives them far more than just knowledge of their location in reference to the hereafter. However, religion may contribute significantly to the promotion of peace as well as the avoidance and management of conflict. Religion and peace are related to our main ways First, true peace is based on the concept of human dignity and shared humanity, which are derived from the idea that everyone was created in the image of divine. Respect elders and education, which is Confucianism. They believe that to, start, to restore older societies had to encourage certain virtues such as loyalty, trustworthiness, and respecting your elders. They believe people were capable of attaining this and other virtues through education. By learning history, literature, and philosophy, people could gain insights. Kissing the hands of elders as respect. Roman Catholic and Filipinos, children, adolescents, and adults all showed shoulder respect, affection by kissing an older person in the hand. The, the senior citizen may be a parent, a relative, a friend, or a teacher. The hand kiss shows respect for their seniority and line of work. People of the same age or younger are not kissed on the hand. That's all for... Good day everyone, I am Decadet Enoy Luigi and today um, I'm going to talk about the uh, relationship between the religion and the globalization. So, globalization isn't a new phenomenon and since the ancient period this process has been going on in different scales. But globalization became a buzzword in 1990s because of political and economic dimension of the international system. From the 1970s onwards, various anthropologists, economists, and economists, etc. began to research and realize that globalization is the only process that can be fitted to any discipline. There is not a single definition of globalization. We can explain this from various theories and perspectives. So, we can see that globalization is a process of interco interconnectedness, interdependence, and integration of economics and societies. It is also a process of interaction and integration among the people companies, and governments of different nations, a process driven by international trade and investment and enhanced by information technology. This process has effects on the environment, on culture, on religion, on political systems, on economic development and prosperity, and on human physical well-being. In societies around the world. Globalization is one of the strongest forces that have profound and wide effect around the world. It does not only have deep impact on economy but also on various aspects of life and society including religion. That's all. Thank you. Lack of religion may cause authoritarianism and nihilism. Authoritarianism is a form of government characterized by the rejection of political plurality, the use of strong central power to preserve the political status, and reductions in the rule of law, separation of powers, and democratic voting. Political scientists have created many typologies describing variations of authoritarian forms of government. Authoritarian regimes may be either autocratic or oligarchic and may be based upon the rule of party or the military. Other ideologies will rush into fill that vacuum. In times gone by, you had such murderous ideologies as fascist and socialism, dude. Because as vicious as they were, as they gave their followers something to fight for. Uh, nihilism is a philosophy or family of views within philosophy that rejects 
generally accepted or fundamental aspects of human existence such as objective, truth, knowledge, morality, values, or meaning. I find the appeal by secular atheists that this is the only life we have must make us appre appreciate even more, to be rather watery and weak. It's not a concept to make anyone very happy to know that every day is a march to the grave and then nothing exists. Humans are too intelligent in terms of abstract thinking to not be depressed by the thought. If there was just one religion or don't have any religion, it is hard to say that the people would have been happier than they are today. Though religion is viewed as really important, there are more important things to take care of and religion does not simply explain every aspect of our lives. One thing which might change, it, change is that Without the competition that all the religions have enjoyed in their preaching, there would have been much more atheists than their actual are today. And religion would have been a very low control concept than what it is. Good day sir, I'm Cadet Neo Alanaval. I'm about to explain the importance of religion in our globalization. So first, societies becoming more closely connected. The inner nature of religions and the purpose to be embraced and the practice by all people all over the world prompt to spread through all over the world, geographical spaces. In order to emerge and spread, therefore, religions make good use of technologies of globalization. Having geographical boundaries and frontiers blurred and dissolved, religions find it easy to spread and reach every part of the world. So, second, strengthened and fortified. Although globalization strengthens and fortifies religion, it also poses a challenge to its globalization. In light of globalization, religions tries to stake out its identity. As a result, several religious identities emerge and make themselves known. So third, gain considerable significance. Because it is a source of identity and pride, religions is always pushed by its adherents to become universal and accepted by as many people as possible. So in conclusion, with that, the world major religious traditions, Judaism, Buddhism, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, take values like human dignity, equality, freedom, peace, and solidarity. More specifically, more specifically, religion uphold the golden rule. What? You do not wish done to yourself, do not do unto others. As a result, through, globaliz through globalization, religions with overlapping but distinctive instinct <clears throat> and interest interact with one another. So that's all, sir, and thank you.